Greetings, Commanders! This week we are on the pulse of the Season 7 Galactic Battle Semifinals. The quarterfinals has ended. We are out of the round of eight. We are into the round of four. And these are the top four guilds. NYC successfully beat Visa after coming behind and uh, going for a zero and um, unfortunate win, unfortunate loss for Visa. They were doing really well, but NYC uh, overtake them. Gan and company uh, did pull out the victory, advancing them to the round of four. And their opponent is going to be 888 or formerly Win Winter Soldier, Albatross, and. Uh, Anubis and uh, Money, no money. Uh, they're a major guild now. They're a super guild. Uh, they were able to successfully pull their win against DZG out with some great play by Money and his Reinhardt. Uh, that's an interesting choice for a main, Reinhardt. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then FBI was able to pull out a win over CHN pretty handedly. Um, FBI's 66 and ODAD are two of the biggest players in the game. And uh, they're going to be advancing to fight CAD, which is the ALD server rival. And you'll notice that ALD did not even make it to the round of 16. ALD is out. ALD's bingo is not active. And uh, unfortunately, ALD is suffering because of it. But CA did, CAD did pull out the win over ONE or 1. Um, and they're going to be facing off against FBI. I think FBI is the clear favorite to pull the win out here. But don't kid yourself. CAD has some monsters uh, in their guild. And they are definitely to watch. I think uh, 888 versus NYC is going to be an amazing battle. You have two very, very smart and stingy guilds squaring off against FBI. Which is more of like an in-your-face kind of powerhouse guild. Against CAD, which uh, is going to be able to match them toe-to-toe. -to -toe, and there are so many counters in Season 7. It's not like Season 6 where you can just go plant a Rogers. Speaking of commanders and the balance and how all that works now. These are our top 5 for Season 7. And here's why. Right, Tier 12's out. They have so much base stats. The new meta is ignoring base stats. Vega with tier 12 airships, the tear space damage plus the breakdown uh, can basically let him like one shot his opponent's troop. He's the hardest hitting commander in the game um, only because his breakdown scales to over 100% then he gets bonus damage on top of that. He also has this cool little 20% skill which doesn't seem like much but matches are lasting longer, rounds are lasting longer are lasting longer and he gets a lot of value out of that skill plus the airship awakening is awesome it hits everything um gilly is just basically the infantry version of vega uh she has a guaranteed hit 40 percent skill as well but it does cap out uh at 90 percent not 120 percent uh her her 20 percent skill is actually 100 percent skill she turns your opponent's jewels off so she gets a good advantage early on in the round um, and then you get back to your, really, your defensive commanders. This is kind of where it gets weird. Here's Reinhardt. I'll just put him up now so I can turn my camera back on. Um, Reinhardt got big last season because he was the counter to Rogers. We didn't know about Full Metal yet. Full Metal hadn't been buffed. So the only way to beat a Rogers was another Rogers. And then we learned that Reinhardt in Rogers gear was very viable. Uh, so some of the big players ate their Rogers into Reinhardt and just became counter Rogers players. But now there's options against Rogers. The Libra gems, the Ares gems, um, Andromeda jewels, even Robin and Lilith can do damage to Rogers. Uh, there's just so many options. Full Metal just decimates Rogers. But for some reason, Full Metal and Walker, Infant, or Walker Mains really didn't make a big splash this season like we expected them to. Uh, but that's maybe why Reinhardt's here. Uh, he just beat out all the, the Walker opponents that wanted to, to replace him. But basically, he's a Thorns commander. He builds like Rogers. He counters Rogers. Uh, he takes hits. He, he heals himself, and he does damage backs for, for you trying to hit him. Uh, and, of course, there's Rogers. Everyone knows Rogers. Goes defense, wants to go immune, then he's immune, and now he has a 20% guaranteed hit, and he's crushing away on you. Um, and then there's Elf who's basically like the Walker version of Reinhardt and Rogers. He, she just kind of goes super tank build, uh, uses her curse to do damage, and then she uses her blessing to heal whenever she gets hit. So uh, a lot of healing going on in the meta right now, but these are the top five. I think there's an honorable mention here for Stella in tank gear, which was a new thing we saw, but it didn't really take off. Uh, Nekajiro should get an honorable mention. 
Uh, of course, plasma is always going to be useful. Uh, and the new gem sets, the new Cepheus gem sets on Roger on Vega, uh, really makes him disable commanders like Elf and Reinhardt, who are a somewhat tough tough matchup for him. Uh, but you just put a Cepheus jewel on him and disables your opponent's uh, ability to heal, and uh, you know he could start hammering back away at him. Uh, so it's a it's a pretty crazy matchup right now, but this is what we're expecting to see going into the round of four If you want to watch the playoffs, we're hosting live streams every week usually Wednesday night Sometimes maybe Thursday night join the line channel if you want to be invited to those live streams or just hit the bell icon below When I go live, it'll send you a notification that you can come in and join the stream uh, Last week we had I don't know 500 unique viewers on a four-hour stream It was a lot of fun the most fun we've ever had in Ark of War on this channel in the playoff, it was so much fun to hang out with other players that are playing the same game you are, that can talk the game with you, and uh, really just enjoy what's going on in these playoffs together. Anyway, so that covers the playoffs and what we're expecting to go into in the round of four. If you have a favorite to win it all, put it in the comments below. Who are you rooting for? Who do you want to see lose? Um, and are there any commanders I missed that I should have brought up? Uh, probably. Put it in the comments below. Definitely interact with this video. These Melt News segments or On the Pulse segments, whatever we're calling these things. Um, I really like the idea of these because it provides a timestamp for the community about what's going on in the world. And then, you know, we'll be able to look back on it and go, oh, yeah, that was important back then. I'm sure in Season 8 we'll be saying, oh, man, remember when people were still using Reinhardt and Elf? I hope that's not the case. I hope these commanders do pick up use. But, uh... They just, they just keep making the offensive meta so viable that people don't need to, which is why Vega, Gilly, Nekajiro, and Pictor, which didn't make it, uh, are so viable. And Full Metal. Full Metal should have been mentioned. All right, that's the end of the news. Are you still there? Hey, one more thing. It has come to my attention that... A large amount of players that watch this channel are not on the Line community. Line is a social app. If you think you learn a lot from the YouTube channel, just wait until you get into the Line community. Go to the App Store and download Line. L-I-N-E. It's free to use. You make an account and add me personally. Melt.A-O-W. Check in the description below and I will personally invite you into whatever Arc of War channel is appropriate for you. And don't stop there. Get your guild online. If you want to be successful at this game, you can't do it alone. Send out a guild mail all. Invite all your guildmates to join Line. Invite one of them to a chat. Invite a few more players. Next thing you know, you have a guild chat. Everyone needs a guild line chat. Get on it. Go. Right now. Download line. Seriously. Get at least like three or four members of your guild on it, and then it'll just grow naturally.